learn to code or not to learn how to code? That is the question that everyone has been asking. Now with ChatGPT, is it even worth our time? Is it worth it? Some companies like IBM are planning not to fill positions that could be replaced by AI. 14 years we've been working our butts off. Now these future folk come in and we can't get work nowhere. Like the car jobs. They took your job. They took your job they took too. Your job. So what's the point in learning how to code? Are we all screwed? Hmm. Well, let's think about it this way. The whole point of AI is to make our lives easier. For example, if you wanted to build a website, you probably wouldn't build it from scratch, right? Ain't nobody got time for that. You know, you can just go on Google and find some template or even just inspect a website and steal the source code. Then all you gotta do is just replace the font, change the color, change the pictures, and etc. And voila, you got this beautiful website and you barely had to do anything. What if I told you that with ChatGPT, you can achieve this a lot easier. Now, instead of you searching for the template or searching for some inspiration, you can ask ChatGPT and give it specific prompts and it can create that specific website for you. You can kind of think of ChatGPT as your personal helper that can do a lot of things. It has a wide array of knowledge, but not infinite. ChatGPT is restricted based on the data that it's trained with. So don't expect ChatGPT to be inventing new things. It can definitely help you build your website, but you need to know how to ask the right questions. If you've watched my video on how I use ChatGPT to build a website, you're gonna see that I had to ask ChatGPT a lot of questions in order to get my website to somewhat look like a website. So therefore, you do need to know some things about websites and you also have to be a bit technical in order to get things to work or else you're gonna look like this guy here. And this is a great example of asking someone to do your homework and you not knowing how to hand it in. Yes, you have the website, but you don't know how to share it with other people. So yes, ChatGPT is great and all, but if you don't know how to ask the right questions, it's basically useless. So there you have it. Although ChatGPT can spit out code, I don't think that ChatGPT will be replacing software engineers anytime soon. Instead, it just makes our lives as software engineers easier. Instead of me writing all this boilerplate code for a website, I can just ask ChatGPT and then I copy and paste and change things as needed. Why reinvent the wheel? This is also something that I wish that I had when I was learning how to code. You can kind of think of ChatGPT as your personal mentor. Like if you don't understand something, just have a conversation with ChatGPT. And if you still don't understand what it told you, just ask it to explain it as if you're a five-year-old. Anyways, although ChatGPT may be replacing some jobs, it's actually creating new jobs as well. Now there's a new job called AI Prompt Engineer and it pays decently well, where they basically ask ChatGPT prompts to get it to do something. For example, generate a blog post that talks about X topic with a specific tone. And if you have used ChatGPT before, you've probably seen how difficult it is to get the AI to do exactly what you want it to do. Sometimes you just gotta mess around with the AI and ask it different questions until it finally gets you what you want. So you're probably thinking that this is a very easy job. But trust me, this is actually very hard. And a huge misconception about being a software engineer is that you have to be good at coding. But it's actually the opposite. If you want to be a really good software engineer, you have to be able to take a big problem and be able to break it down into smaller pieces that's easy to digest. So this job is very difficult because a prompt engineer, you need to take a problem and break it into prompts and get AI to do it. But anyways, if you think that you're up for the challenge, you should definitely apply for a prompt engineering role. In summary, if you're doubting whether you should learn how to code, you should definitely do it. More knowledge means more power. The more you know about how code works, the better you'll be able to use ChatGPT to assist you. If you want to learn how to code, check out my free coding bootcamp. I'm going to be rebooting this series and I'll be adding a lot of great content to help you learn how to code. Peace.